Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy Action Figure Review. And today we'll be looking at the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles accessory set, AKA the Baby Turtles. And I'm very excited to have this pack here in my hands. Uh, I saw that it was hitting my local targets here in Houston and I went to two targets and I found them. So I was very excited to uh, find a set on the shelves and not have to pay uh, aftermarket prices. I actually did find two, one for me, one for my stepfather. So uh, yeah, again, very excited to have these and I'm, I'm very, very happy to see uh, NECA doing more major releases, more quantities of figures. It's getting easier and easier to find these figures, man. So very happy about that. But getting a quick look at the packaging. I love the art style. It is windowless packaging. You get a very nice uh, promo image, or not promo image, but some um, animated images of the turtles. You get all four of them. You get the little TV, the little pizza monster right there, the little robot with the pizza. On the side, you get a Ninja Turtles logo, NECA accessory set right there, Nickelodeon. On the back, you get some promotional images of pretty much everything that comes in this pack. You get accessory set includes Baby Leonardo, Baby Donatello, Baby Michelangelo, Baby Raphael, Big Mac, and, you know, everything else that comes in here. I'm not going to read through all that. On the other side, it's the same. On the bottom, a whole bunch of bullshit. But enough about this packaging. Let's crack this bad boy. So open. Now, getting a quick look at all the accessories that come in this accessory set before we look at the baby turtles. This is everything that comes in this set. The box doesn't mention everything that actually does come in this set, but it's also missing a couple things that it does say it comes with, and we'll get a quick look at those right now. Uh, as you can see, starting off, we get the pizza box, and it is a pizza box that opens. Okay. And uh, it does have a little hinge right there, and it does come with a little pizza inside. It is removable, and it looks nice, man. Um, very much looks animated, as you can see by those uh, black lines. And then all the baby turtles come with their own uh, weapons. They got the nunchucks right here. It's got the size, the little bow staff. If I can get it to focus, there we go. So that's nice. You get the little, uh, well, those are the size, the katanas for Leonardo. And then you get this uh, cheese painting, as you can see. Uh, I'm guessing this is for that... Uh, character i don't know his name off the top of my head but uh it does look nice not sure if i'll be displaying this but um it's pretty cool on the back not much i don't know if this is magnetized that would be pretty cool no it is not but still pretty cool uh you get a little uh blowtorch right there as well if i can get it to focus focus so this is pretty cool does look nice you get a little ray gun so this is pretty cool as well not sure if this is uh, specific to anyone, but it's pretty cool. Uh, you get this little plug, which I'm not too sure what it is. I'm pretty sure I'll find out eventually. But yeah, I was having a hard time figuring out what this went to. So I'm going to these out the way. You also do get a guy with Shredder's helmet. Not too sure who this character is. I'm going to be honest with you. Not sure what um, where this is from. But yeah, you get some dude with shredder helmet um you get rock steady's helmet as well with the goggles Oop. so i know a lot of people were buying uh third party versions of this for the rock steady so this is nice as well and putting that to the side you also do get uh this little tracker turtle tracker so this is pretty cool as well and then you get little baby pizza monsters, and they're the exact same. I wish they would have came in different positions to just give it a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of a difference instead of having two of the exact same ones. So these are nice. You get this big jewel. There's a specific name for it, but uh, I'm not too sure off the top of my head. Let me double check on the box. This is the Star of Hoboken. I believe it's the name and it is just a translucent plastic on top with matte paint at the bottom again they're going for that animated style i don't think it worked out here but it does look decent I see a big air bubble under so i'm not too happy about that it is what it is you get a mouser i believe there was a five pack that released a couple months ago maybe a year ago um, but yeah you get a mouser it does have an hinged jaw so that is nice and it does have um hinge legs right there at the knee 
it doesn't move here at the hip but that's all right and then uh the foot hinges up and down so really nice mouse mostly white a little bit of red some black some grays right there and the belly is a lighter gray the bottom of the feet are gray as well so that's nice and then you get a backpack this goes to the big turtles so if you want leonardo donatello one of them wearing um, they can it is hollowed out for the show to fit back there so again pretty nice and then you get this little video game console which is pretty cool man uh it doesn't articulate or anything so it's all one solid piece so you can see you get some purples some blues the black lines the white controllers the red buttons so but then that's his side and then we'll look at this little robot right here i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know the name of this character off the top of my head i believe it is big mac if i'm not mistaken so uh this is probably the most articulated thing out of the set it does have a little hinge right here a ball joint at the uh the body so it can go forward back side to side so that it's nice it doesn't swivel here at the base. oh actually it does it does swivel here at the base so that it's nice and then his arms have a little ball joint here at the shoulder and then a hinge at the elbow and then the hands are in a solid position so those don't move his head has a little ball joint but it doesn't move much move much to the sides it shifts a little bit up and down so not much movement out of there and then this little laser thing just swivels back and forth so it's all the art articulation you get out of this but it, it looks good man it's mostly white you get some gray some blacks for the uh, panel lining or the animated animated style lining so uh yeah pretty good looking big mac right there and then you get the tv the second most thing i was excited for so um it is nice it has an, a little VCR player right there, the little antenna. And then you have this little uh, VCR tape, or VHS tape, I'm sorry. And then it slides in there. So it stays in there really nice. It just slides out. It, I wish it had a like a tighter fit in there. But it just kind of slides out. So uh, this is what I was saying that it was missing. The, uh, the boxes, it comes with two of them. But it only came with one, and I went crazy looking for it. The second one, but I couldn't find it. Um, I looked at my stepdad's two-pack, and or accessory pack, and yeah, didn't come with one either. It only came with one. I mean, I'm sorry, it didn't come with two. It only came with one. So uh, weird that they said it comes with two, but it, it's the only one. But it's not a big deal, man. I'm just going to have that in there, like maybe halfway sticking out or something, or maybe on top of the uh, VCR player. So that's nice. And then the way you can add the little screens it, it does uh, unplug from the top and then you get this little slot and it comes with quite a few so it comes with um this dinosaur one it comes with the uh what's his name damn his name is no uh, whatever it comes with bebop and rocksteady it comes with one of the turtles wearing the glasses i think that's uh donatello and then it comes with the wrestling it comes with this uh, superhero movie finding a big monster it comes with a little video game comes with a TV channel. I think I'm going to have them with, um, what's her name? April. With them watching April. So uh, let's demonstrate sliding that in real quick. So that just uh, slides in. And then, boom, you can have them watching April. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I re this was, again, the thing I was most excited about. But putting all this to the side, man, let's get a quick look at the baby turtles themselves. And here we have the baby turtles. And these things are so adorable, man, but they're absolutely tiny. I don't know how to put it into perspective, but here we have Raphael next to his actual grown-up self. I mean, tiny, bro. <laughs> these things are tiny, but they're adorable. There's not much to them, man. It's each of the turtles doesn't come with anything other than their accessories. It would have been nice to have interchangeable heads for each one of them. And I think their heads do pop off, but I'm not going to try to do that now. But uh, yeah, man, fairly simple. Not much to them. Again, each one of them does have a unique expression. You get angry, moody Ralph right there. And then you get happy Michelangelo. Uh, you get uh, worried Donatello as always. And then you get uh, smiling Leonardo, which, uh, yeah, I like them all quite a bit. I did have to boil them, and I do recommend you boil them because their ankles out of the packaging, they're like tilted downwards. And they were really, really stiff, and I did not want to break them. I was very, very scared I was going to break them, man. So I had to boil them, but now they move just fine. So 
Uh, I did boil them for quite a while. I boiled them and then tried to move them. They were still stiff, threw them back in the pot, boiled them a little bit longer, still stiff. And then the third time I boiled them a little bit longer. And then finally I was able to get them loose. What I did was just boil them and then rock them side to side and then move them up and down. So that was the best uh, way to uh, boil these turtles. But yeah, man, I love them all quite a bit. And they're very cute, very uh, unique to have in the display. Not much to the articulation. I'm only going to go over one and because uh, all of them all have the same setup. So getting a quick look at the articulation. Uh, their heads do hinge down quite a bit. They hinge up just a little bit. And then they do rock a lot side to side. So you can get some attitude shots in there. So that's pretty dope. The arms are just on a simple hinge. So they hinge up and down. And they do uh, rotate forward, rotate back, or full 360. Um, and then their legs uh, hinge forward back that much to the side and then their foots have a little hinge here they hinge backwards uh, quite a bit and then they do have little rockers so again man all pretty dope but uh yeah let's get a quick look at some size comparisons now getting a quick look at some size comparisons here we have the baby turtles next to big mac and the tv that they came with here they are next to their dad here they are next to the Marvel Legends Captain America and the Mayfex Cyclops. And last but not least, here they are next to their teenage selves. And there you have it. An amazing set by NECA. Man, this thing is just so much fun. It adds so much more to your already existing NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, diorama, uh, shelf, whatever you have, the display you have for your turtles. They're just going to add so much more. And uh, they need to keep doing this, man. I know there's rumors or I don't know if it's officially announced, but... They were planning on doing a um, an actual diorama piece for these turtles, and I'm all for it, man. If it's anything like this accessory set, I'm 100% for it. This thing is just so much fun, and uh, yeah, man, I had a good time with these with these pieces, man. So uh, definitely recommend picking this up if you're a um, NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collector. If you are looking into getting into the line, this is a good jumping point. Um, I don't know, man. It's just really fun. I had a good time and uh, I highly recommend this, but enough of me rambling on, man. Make sure you guys hit that like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think about this uh, accessory set and let me know if you're going to be picking it up, if it's an easy pass for you, whatever the deal may be, man. Just let me know down in the comments below and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.